Hello again. Thank you to Pastor Wayne for his reflections earlier this week on Jesus, the victorious one. Amen. Well, during this Holy Week, or this Passion Week, the week that includes Good Friday, tomorrow, and the, the great celebration of Easter Sunday, there are many names of Jesus that, that come to mind. One of them is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and that will be our focus tomorrow morning in our Good Friday service. Another of them is the word Messiah. I learned a lot this week as I looked into this word that means so much to us as we recognize Jesus as the fulfillment of so many prophecies right from Genesis through to Malachi, the first and the last books of the Old Testament. In Hebrew, the language of the people of Israel and of the Old Testament, the word Messiah or Mashiach comes from a word that means to smear or to anoint. So Messiah means anointed one. In ancient Israel, oil was used for freshening up a person's appearance. It was used for medicinal purposes. And oil was used for anointing. Many priests like Aaron and his sons in Exodus chapter 30 and their descendants were anointed with oil as a way of, of consecrating them, setting them apart for a life of service to God as they represented God to his people and they represented the people of God to Yahweh. And then objects and, and people considered sacred were also anointed as a way again of, of showing that they were set apart. Kings in particular were anointed like King David in 2 Samuel chapter 2. And kings were known as the anointed of the Lord, though sadly the majority of them didn't live up to that name. The Messiah then would, would be the anointed one, really the anointed of all anointed people. Messiah would come from the royal line, which was the line of Judah. And the hope for and expectation of Messiah came from passages like Genesis 49, verse 10, which goes this way. The scepter, or the staff that belongs to the king, will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he to whom it belongs shall come, and the obedience of the nations shall be his. What a great promise. Then many descriptions of Messiah were given through the prophets as they looked to the coming of the Anointed One. And here are just some of them. The branch of the Lord is described in Isaiah chapter 4. The promise of Emmanuel comes in Isaiah 7. The righteous king is noted in Isaiah 32. The everlasting covenant with David is cited in Isaiah 55. Jeremiah in chapters 23 and 33 writes of the Lord our righteousness. Jeremiah 31 speaks of the anointed one of Messiah being part of the new covenant. The shepherd of Israel uh, is a phrase that is used by Ezekiel. Hosea prophesied of the, the one Israel returns to in the latter days. Amos makes reference to the raising of the fallen tent of David. Micah, that, that great passage that we cite at Christmas time about Bethlehem, Ephrathah. Zechariah, the triumphant entry of the Messianic King, which we celebrate on, on Palm Sunday, Zechariah 9 verse 9. And Isaiah 53 is especially significant in connection with Good Friday. Numerous psalms, too, like Psalm 8 and Psalm 22, also point to Messiah and are quoted in the New Testament. In the New Testament, the title Christos, or Christ, is the Greek equivalent to Mashiach, and it's found more than 400 times in the New Testament. It's got to be significant. Paul, the Apostle Paul, uses the phrase in Christ dozens of times in his letters to describe the spiritual relationship that, that followers of Jesus Christ have with our Savior. 
Son of Man is a phrase used by Jesus in reference to himself about 80 times in the Gospels, and it's linked back to Daniel chapter 7. And Son of God is another title he used recorded in John's Gospel. And these two phrases show how Jesus had an awareness of being Messiah, and yet it's not something he ever flaunted or took advantage of. In fact, being the fulfillment of, of so many prophecies, especially Isaiah 53 and Psalm 22, meant unimaginable suffering, both physically and spiritually, on Good Friday. There's so much more that could be said, but what we've covered today gives us, has given me personally, such meaningful insight into knowing Jesus as Messiah. I hope it encourages you as you consider the richness, the meaningfulness, the power, the hope that's represented by this title. He's coming again. And I encourage you to take some time to, to meditate on some of the passages that I've mentioned today. To worship and adore Jesus Messiah, name above all names, blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. God bless you, and happy Easter.